It has been way too long since I've made a redstone video. It's been almost a month since I made an actual redstone showcase thing. The two other videos, they barely got views. My channel's dying. This is terrible, having a midlife crisis and stuff. But no, here we go. Redstone thing, awesome, tileable color combination lock. As you can see, we got all the colors. They are all right because they match the buttons on the floor. And we get an output from the lamp. But if one of them is wrong, Oh no, it's off. What do we do? So sad. It's also somewhat spam proof, so I can just like hold this button and it won't do anything because like it's awesome and stuff. Also, I can just spam a bunch of buttons like this and it won't do anything either because, you know, it's tileable. It only affects its one layer. It's also one wide and it is 88 blocks per layer, so here's the redstone. It's probably small as possible, but I'm not gonna put that in the title before I ask like five redstoners if it's actually small as possible because they will attack me if I say it, it is, but it isn't. So basically, how it works, this is one slice, it's eight long, 11 high, and one wide. So we have our display tape, so those are the colors that you see, and then we have our freaking, are those cave noises? Why does it sound like a minecart? Doesn't matter. Okay, this is our memory tape, and we have like a cauldron here, and that detects if it's right or not. And then obviously this is an AND gate, so you just have a bunch of torches here. They all turn off. This redstone line turns off. You torch comes on. Basic logic gate stuff. So flip this lever. Both tapes activate at the same time. Really easy. Like it's so simple. It's just an observer going here. This piston pushes, just an observer updating the pistons as they go round and round. It's a really simple build, and I don't even know if you need a tutorial, but I'm going to do one anyways because, yeah. Here we go. These are the things you need, so just look at my HUD bar. So you need two sections of blocks, so these are going to be your display blocks, and this is your memory reel, so just like pick 16 random colors of whatever you want, and then, I don't know where you're going to put your wall, but like put your wall somewhere so I'm just gonna pretend that this gray block is my wall so first thing we're gonna do is put an observer on the bottom like this and a piston facing upwards like that stick a piston facing the blocks like that and then we're gonna do that on this corner too so piston and a sticky piston like that and then we go up here and we put a downwards piston like this and another piston no not like that up here and we do that again so normal piston and normal piston. So there's the piston layout, super easy. So coming from this piston, we put an observer, block, and then we go observer, observer, and then observer, observer. So coming from this piston over here, so the sticky piston, two blocks up, observer chain coming from the, the, the tape itself. And then over here, observer, observer, like that, and observer, and observer. So coming from the side piston, going into the top piston, and then finally, to four more observers like that. There we go, that's your redstone, super easy peasy. So now we're gonna put a block here and a comparator, and we're gonna make our AND gate, so there we go. So now we have to choose which color we want it to be right. So let's say, okay, we need to put a lever here. So let's say we want yellow to be the right color. So we are gonna put yellow on our like display viewing area thing, so. I'm just gonna flip this lever until yellow gets there, so... There we go, now we have yellow. So now that yellow is there, and that it is the correct color we want, we take out this block and put our cauldron, make sure to fill it with water, and there we go. Now the comparator knows that this is the right thing to do. So now, how do we stack this? It's super easy to... So basically... All you need to do is just build it next to one another. So if I just get, turn my chat on, I use just some world edit just to make this a lot faster because I'm not building it again. So literally all you need to do is just make a bunch more. So there we go. So now we have two more uh, modules like that. So now we have a combination where it has to be all yellow for all of these torches to turn off, this line will turn off, and then your output will just be a redstone torch going into, I don't know, whatever you want, I don't really care. And then for your inputs, this is also really easy, I should probably turn chat off so it's not distracting. So for your buttons, you can put them wherever you want really, it doesn't really matter. But basically, you take a button, 
and you get a piston with an observer. So just put no blocks like that, and pistons with observers, and just uh, break these ones. So now we got pistons with observers like that, and now, I don't know, put blocks in front or something, and then, I don't know, repeaters, and then blocks here. So there we go. So now each button will activate each piston feed tape. So we push this one, it'll activate that one. We push the middle one, activates the middle. We push the one on the left, activates the one on the left. And there we go. We have our own color combination lock. And wow, it was so easy. This video is so short. It's only five minutes. My god. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't think I can extend this anymore. It's just really easy. You can spam it if you really want to. Let's see, frequently asked questions. If this thing doesn't work, uh, what do you do? You rewatch the video. And uh, another epic tip, if this uh, tutorial does not say bedrock in the title, then, um, okay, listen to me closely, it will not work in bedrock. So if you complain that it's not working on bedrock in the in the comments, I will I will be sad because that's that's really stupid. Basically, if I make a tutorial on Java, it will 99.9% .9 of the time will not work on Bedrock, and if it does work on Bedrock, I will say that it works on Bedrock. So anyways, with those notes out of the way, hope you enjoyed this video, um, outro YouTuber thing that people do, I guess. Okay, goodbye.